Hello everybody, my name is Paul Ma. I'm the course coordinator for the Diploma and Advanced Diploma of Graphic Design at Federation University TAFE. In this presentation, I'm gonna take you through some details of the course, how long it goes for, how to apply, and show you lots and lots of student project outcomes. We're located at the Arts Academy at the Camp Street campus. You can see here that we are on the top floor of the old law courts, so we have a great view. And we're in the middle of the hustle and bustle of the city, which is great. So there's plenty of cafes and local attractions around us. We're a Mac-based studio. Our studios are full of iMacs. We've recently upgraded in the last couple of years, but we don't mind if you use a Mac or a PC at home or on your laptop, you're welcome to bring your laptop in. Um, we're mainly about the Adobe software. So as long as your software is compatible, that's totally fine. We have three main design studios and a dedicated photography studio. We have the diploma and advanced diploma of graphic design. Most students start in the diploma and then pathway into our advanced diploma. Our timetables vary from year to year, but usually it's from Monday to Thursday from 9.30 till 4.30. If you're looking on the screen, you can see the blue is the diploma classes and the green is the advanced diploma classes. Whether you're applying through VTAC or you're applying directly through the uni, we like to conduct a folio interview. And that's a 20 minute scheduled booking where we just have a chat. We go through the work that you're able to show us, whether it's digital, whether it's painting, drawing, whatever you want to show us. And we just want to gauge from you where you want to go with your design career and what kind of skills you want to gain from your time with us. I often get asked what to show at folio presentation and the answer is quite simple. Show us anything that you've been doing, whether you're actually doing graphic design, whether you're painting, drawing, photographing, creating multimedia, making memes, whatever it is, we just wanna see that you are creative and that it's something that you're interested in. So we're a one year full-time course, but part-time is available if you choose. If you are choosing part-time, you can pick and choose as much or as little as you'd like to study. However, if you're trying to achieve the full diploma within two or three years, then we like to sit with you and work out which classes go well together because some fit nicely with each other and some can be completed standalone. We're very hands-on, we're very folio and project based. At the start of the year, we go through five, six weeks of tutorials. We get everybody up to speed on Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, and later on we start to look at InDesign. And once everybody has the basic skill sets, then we start looking at creative projects and tasks, and we complete a bunch of little tasks just to give you some skills in preparation for doing the assessment tasks. We run 16 week semesters, so it's 32 weeks in the year. We normally start around mid-Feb and we finish around mid-November. All our teachers are industry teachers, so they're either running their own business or they're freelancing or working for somebody else. I'm the only full-time staff member in the course and I still run my own design business. After one year studying with us, you'll have quite a large folio of work to pick from. So we counted up around 30 to 40 pieces, including all your design subjects, all your drawing, all your photography. So you have quite a large folio. And as usual, not every project is a winner. So when you don't have a winner, you can shelve it and you can pick your best ones to show potential employees or put in your folio. Here's the class list for our Diploma of Graphic Design. So design process classes one, two, three, and four, that's our general design classes. So general design projects like flyers, um, branding, advertising, posters, they all sort of fit nicely in the design process one, two, three, and four. Typography is learning how to use type and how to communicate well with type. You might be a great drawer and then you put type on it and if it's bad type, it'll actually wreck your design. So we teach you how to communicate well. We teach you how to do magazine layouts, newsletter layouts, and just use long form and short form typography as best as you can. Illustration class is learning how to illustrate for industry. So whether that's illustrating a character or illustrating a model of something, we give you the skills to be able to do that in this class. Pre-press class is learning the technical side of design. So setting up files for print correctly, adding embellishments and making sure they're right. Once they leave your studio and go to the printer, they'll get printed correctly. Applied design, we start to look at packaging and a little bit of web. In photography one and two, we start to look at general basic photography skills. So we get a good understanding of the DSLR cameras. We understand what ISO does. We have a look at what aperture does and shutter speed. And we learn how to control them. So the camera works for us, not just setting it to auto and the camera does what it likes. We also look at composition and a bit of editing too. So you can get what you want to get out of photography. Drawing one and two is very much visual art drawing. So we still use a lot of pencil, a lot of charcoal, a lot of Conte, 
watercolor. It's very classical drawing. There is a little bit of digital drawing later on, but the majority of drawing is observational drawing and learning different techniques. Art and design theory is, as it sounds, it's a theory class. So you look at some writing techniques, you look at different ways to talk about your work, and you also start to look at some art and design history in there as well. Okay, so let's start to look at some student projects. Most of our projects have a variation on each brief. So briefs don't come with, you must do this. They will come with, here's a selection of five options with the same kind of outcome. The magazine cover we're looking at now, that has two options on it. One is to look at an existing magazine. So Delicious was an existing magazine that the student liked the look of. They would have analyzed what they did, look at the different fonts, the spacing, the colors, the photography styles, and recreated their own in the next edition. Felix & Co on the other side is actually a brand new magazine designed from scratch. Now this student would have got her friend in to model in the studio using our studio lighting and backdrops and then applied that to her own cover with her own type and design. We look at t-shirt designs, festival posters, branding, some advertising campaigns, including looking at how an ad might work on a newspaper in black and white and how an ad might work on a billboard when people are driving past it at speed. The Yum Dog Food campaign, now this is a group project, students work in groups of three or four to come up with an ad campaign together. And this particular group brought all these ingredients into the studio, including raw meat and made this dog shape and photographed it. It was kind of gross in the studio, but then once they brought it onto the computer and started editing it and brought it onto the purple background, you can see it actually looks quite good. Redesign an existing book cover. This poster is, uh, it's a movie poster, but it's predominantly made in Photoshop. So part of the brief is to give your students the skills using layers and clipping. So you have to actually include a face of a person um, and you have to have a background and a foreground and put them together. This is the start of typography class. So this project is about looking at a typeface doing some research on the history of the typeface and presenting the typeface in a way that is clear to the other students as well as giving a bit of brief history on it. Recipe card, considering different page sizes. So this is one of the first projects that we do that isn't the regular A4, A3, A5 page sizes. This is a little bit taller than A4 and a little bit slimmer than A4. So working on that size can be a bit tricky for some people. Also working on how to combine images and type with restrictions of how much type you have to put in there. Top 40 poster, including the numbers, the listing and two sub bits of information. In second semester, we start to look at Adobe InDesign, which is the software we use to actually do long form or magazine layout kind of projects. You can use it for anything, but predominantly longer form projects. So this project, we supply students four stories to pick from, and they're over a thousand words and they have to fit them into a double page spread. And then we move on to an eight page magazine, including the cover and all the spreads inside. Now the spreads inside have to include some which have got lots of pictures and some which have got lots of text and we finished off the year with a fun A2 type based poster. Okay, we start to have a look at illustration for industry now. Now this is actually the project outcome for the pen tool project. Now the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator is one of the most used tools for a commercial designer. However, it's also one of the most hated tools for my students, it seems to be. So we do projects completely based around pen tool. So all the line work you see on Einstein's face was pen tooled and obviously on the other side with the hand, it's all been pen tooled as well. We move on to the image trace project. Students draw this from hand, ink it up with black and white ink and then scan it in. Once it's scanned in, we use the image trace function in Illustrator, which then converts it to vector so we can click and color. A technical drawing, take an influence from an existing Illustrator. So the top one is Gollum. Gollum is actually Photoshop painted. The bottom one is Illustrator and the right one is watercolored. So students need to research an Illustrator they get given and create artwork in the same style. Map design, illustration for a small story, character design, and some more detailed character design. This is the start of drawing. Like I said earlier, we do cover the classical fine art mediums like charcoal, pencil sketching, Conte, a little bit of digital. This is fine liner and watercolor. 
and then we move into photography. So we actually do a few projects in the studio using studio lighting, but we also send students out to shoot out on the street um, using natural light. Apply design, like I mentioned earlier, is looking at three-dimensional forms in the form of products. Blended on the left is actually a tea box that students create the tea box, we need to mock it up so they can get a real good sense of where the graphic sits once it's actually finished. So when you're designing this, you design it flat on the screen and then when you print it and cut it out, fold it and stick it together, it's actually three dimensional so you can only see two or three sides at once. So that's a bit of a trick which students need to get their head around but they seem to do quite a good job. The product on the right is actually uh, vinyl or, or album artwork and the students have to source the template from an existing production company and use the template to create their artwork. We look at some other packaging, we look at a wine or a perfume bottle. This final slide just represents the pre-press class so you can see that a full colour image on the left when separated into cyan, magenta and yellow colour Different weights of colour go onto the paper which create the full colour image. We also learn how to set up dye lines, we learn how to set up bleed and trims, we learn to set up packaging and embellishments like foils and embosses and spot varnishes. So that's all the work I have to show for the diploma class. Now we'll just quickly move on to the advanced diploma. So the advanced diploma is a continuation of the diploma. Some of the classes have the exact same name, but they're a continuation. So again, this is one year full time. You can do it part time if you like. There's a few less class hours during the week, but we still run for 32 weeks. The main differences on the classes are branding. So we do logos and style guides for a whole semester. Digital media one and two, that's actually looking at animation and 3D and effects. Design sustainability is an online subject looking at sustainability of running your own business and being aware of sustainability as a designer. Advertising, we look at ad campaign, creation, storyboarding, social media posting. Design practice is how to set up your own business. So by the end of that, you will have a good idea or possibly even be ready to run your own business or at least freelance as a solo designer. And folio is a little class at the very end of the year where we either exhibit your work or create a folio together. I'm just gonna fly through some of the projects that we do in the advanced diploma. Shakespeare poster, modern take on a Shakespeare. Infographic posters. Packaging design, mocking it up digitally or if you choose, mock it up physically. This, this project is packaging multiple of one product together as a gift pack or a special edition pack. App design, so we don't actually create the apps, but we do do the design. A basic flyer. Now this is a sample of the work. So the eight page magazine you saw in the diploma, this is actually a 24 page magazine. So this is a fairly common kind of project you would do in the real world. So creating this well is a great start for your career. In topography, we also create a custom font. Now the students design this from scratch in Illustrator and then we move it over into a piece of software called Bird Font where they can look at the sizing, they can look at the spacing and the relationship between each letter form and get it just right. Then they can export it and it's a usable font which they can use or send to mates or sell if they wish. We look at a tourism poster where students have to create a poster for anywhere or any city in the world they have to actually show four of the highlights in the, and they can create it any way they like. This is part of the branding class. So we do a lot of little tasks to start off the year, working on non-assessable tasks, and then we eventually get into assess some assessment tasks which have strong guidelines on there. The first one is actually just the branding itself and, and variations of the brand. And the second major project is the brand plus quite a large style guide. Now we encourage students if they have their own clients or their own friends or family that need design to bring in their own clients to work on this kind of project. The Style Guide project looks at how to actually use the logo that you've created. It talks about the logo, you look at the spacing, how to use it, how not to use it, what colours to use, what secondary and tertiary colours to use, additional graphics, patterns, it shows examples of, of flyers, it shows examples of social media and other digital um, use. We do festival posters, promotion for a citywide event. So. The idea of this project is looking at how to actually promote a, an event citywide that's not necessarily just posters on the wall. So looking big picture idea creation on what else you can do. Is it giant sculpture? Is it covering buses and trucks? Is it a car? Is it dressing up people in your character and having a hundred of them running down the main street of town? Whatever your idea is, you just need to create it.
This is an in-store promo. So you can see that we've got the floor stand, we've got a big poster hanging from the roof and a wobbler directly on the shelf where the product is. Some illustration for an annual report. A special anniversary movie poster. Here's some samples of animations the students have completed in the digital media class. look at 3D and recreate some buildings in 3D. And finally, Fed Press Magazine is a printed mag that goes all the way across Federation University. The professional writing and editing students put together the words and my students put together the design. So that's it for my presentation. Feel free to get in contact anytime on p.mah at federation.edu.au or give me a call and leave a message if I'm not there and I'll get back to you. We take applications anytime really, but we interview later on in the year around late November, December through to the end of Feb. Look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching my presentation and please get in touch.